Welcome back to this Let's Play of King's Bounty Crossworlds. Uh, last time we pretty much finished up on Taro. We're going to uh, go in here and crush this, uh, what is he called, the Driller, I believe it is. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, destroy the Driller. We're going to just destroy the Driller quest. And then we're probably going to leave Montero and go over to Reha and see if we can get our next, uh, there's a few quests to do there. And we could get the Stone of Wrath, so I think we'll do that also. So... Uh, off camera, I got our army back up to full strength, and I also decided to switch our bowmen out for Inquisitors. And we'll see how that goes, just because we do have this item now that gives us, you know, plus 20 or minus 20% leadership to Inquisitors and Paladins. Seems excellent, so we're going to try it. Let's go crush the driller real quick, though, because I'm guessing at this point, like before, we couldn't even beat him, but that was so long ago. 7,000 health. I think you have to push him back a few times, but still, 7,000 health, that's, I mean, that's nothing. I, I would say with a crit, I might be able to do 7,000 health. Whap. Yeah, look at that, two, two times we knocked him back, okay. Tutorial on moving the camera, oh my. A tutorial. We're nearing the end of the game. Here's a tutorial. Okay, now he's got 14,000. And now we can't reach him. Ah, Alright, well that's fine. Let's move our guys all up. I don't know if we want to keep them grouped or not. Let's second wind our horsemen. Let them charge again, I, I suppose. Charge! I can't even... I can't even see the damage we're dealing. You little gremlins. I don't think we can even angle the camera to see the damage. Oh, barely 5,000. Yeah, but so like this, we've already almost got him knocked down. This may put him over right now. Yeah. So somewhere back here, we're, we'll force him off the bridge. I don't know where that is. I feel like maybe it's soon. I don't know if it's after this one, 28,000. Um, thing to keep in mind is we're going to want a resurrection if we can get it, which ugh, easier said than done, I guess, since everything's so far away. Um, we could do a resurrection. I'm not going to get as much value. Um, does lifelight do? Troops are healed. Just healing, though. They don't want that. Uh, maybe I'll charge and then... Oh, maybe I'll charge and then try healing. Does he do an AoE? Oh, well, kind of. He kind of does an AoE. Already halfway down. Um, let's do resurrection on the horseman. And then fire. Oh, we've killed him already. Oh gosh, well I didn't mean to kill him that quickly, but I guess it worked out because my paladin ability will get me the rest of the guards back. So I suppose that was good. There's 12,000, wow. It wasn't that hard of a battle at this point. And we leveled up 720 leadership extra. Just as you leave the mine, the entrance collapses behind you. The driller is a smoldering wreck, and you have a, your well-deserved reward. All right, excellent. And we also have some runes. Uh, I think we're just going to save them for now. Yeah, yeah. Let's just let's just hold on to them for now. Oh, we got a thing called a drill from that. 25% physical damage, wow. Hmm. Minus one to initiative, though. It's interesting. Uh, it might be pretty powerful for our team, just because we got mostly hand-to-hand, -hand, but I need to be able to dual wield. Or I need my uh, guy to be able to dual, dual wield. <laughs> oh, well. Um, Let's see here. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I meant to buy some Inquisitors to put in my reserves. Um, well, I think I think we are 
done here in the Dwarven Lands, I think. So we could grab up some soldiers on the way out, because I'm pretty sure the Temple of Love has, uh, has the Inquisitors in it. And then we could go over to Reha with a uh, full strength army. Since we just gained that 700, we are, uh, uh, we are missing a few soldiers. Oh, wait, it's... Oh, wait a second. <laughs> the bridge was right there next to where we came out. Okay, perfect. Even better. Charge forward. I think the temple has inquisitors and paladins, I believe. Yep, I am. We'll take those. Make a few more paladins. 160 paladins. Very nice. So I think I'm going to get more inquisitors. That gives us inquisitors, paladins. We need some guardsmen and some horsemen if we can get them. And oh, we have almost all the gems. Lovely. Let's head, um, we'll head through Montero real quick because I'm pretty sure I know where we can get a few more of these soldiers on our way by as we exit Toriha and then we'll, uh, beat the Lizardfolk. I can't remember how many, like, how much of that island we finished. I'm trying to remember, like, if we've cleared most of it or not. I suppose we'll, oh, I suppose we'll find out in a moment. Where am I going? Oh, there. Um, because I feel like we're nearing the end game. I mean, we've got to get the stone from them, and the stone from Dominion here, and then the end game. I mean, I think we're pretty close. Um, uh, this is where I put all those bowmen we had. No, this one had paladins. For some reason, I thought it had uh, guardsmen. Because that's all we're missing, right? Some guardsmen. Yeah. I mean, we're only missing a few. It's not. Important. It just, you know, is nice. I feel like we're. I mean, we probably could go over and beat Demian, or Demian, however you want to say it, to bits right now, just because we have so much. Uh, oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. Just because we have so many of the uh, Wanderer Scrolls saved up, we have a good amount. Um. Does one of, I feel like one of these guys wouldn't my knights, but it's the same problem. Oh, here we go. I'm going to say, I think there's some around here. There's not very many of them, though, so. All right, let's see here. Now, Rhea is, where is that one? Uh Oh, it's the big one, duh. Uh, did we go to Nameless Island yet? Well, let's go to Reha, and then we might go over there. I can't think if we actually visited that one. Oh, no, there's a flag here, right there, huh? That makes me think we haven't done a lot here. Of course, I don't see any enemies around, so... I could be wrong, huh? Twinkling boots. Uh, no. Hmm. Did I talk to you? Can't remember if I talked to these guys. Welcome to our temple, human. But I don't think you were brought here by the snake to learn our spiritual truths. What is it, then, that has led you to us? Your, your head. Hmm. I feel like maybe I've talked to these guys before, and I don't remember. Uh, yeah, I think I did talk to these guys before, I feel like. Oh, you know what? I was going to say, how can I get up and get those? I bet you I could just fly up there. Yep. What you got on that, uh, lizard folk? In your house, looting your stuff. Well, I guess there were some steps there, but... Oh, there we go. 
Can I land? I can. I'll take those crystals. Thank you very much. Swift tribe. Yeah, here's a guy here. Oh, he's just wary though. He's not attacking me. Oh, it's you again. Yes, I did talk to a bunch of these guys before. Uh, ooh. Plus five to attack of dwarves. I feel like I've got a lot of items that I could make a good dwarven army out of. I'm not going to. But I could. Um, so where do we want to go? What's this guy? Let's see. Slightly weaker. Yeah, see, at this point, we're pretty strong. Oh, you don't re Yeah, no, I talked to this guy, too. I talked to most of these guys, apparently. I suppose there's no reason not to go kill you. Come here, Mr. Dinosaur. Sorry about this, Mr. T-Rex. You are pretty cool, but I'm uh, still going to have to kill you. What was that? Wait, what was that ability? He's got like a roar, terrifying roar of some kind. Let's see. T-Rex, uh... Oh, primal fear. Terrible roar. Yep. Okay, it just makes you take damage. Huh, alright. Well, I'm gonna, uh... Did he steal from one of my guys? Doesn't look like it. Do you even think of somebody else? No, it's this guy, Drain. Strips an enemy troop of its action points. It looks like everybody's gonna get a turn, though. Oh, the horsemen are at eight. Maybe he took theirs? Oh, yeah. Oh, five. Yeah. He must have taken the horsemen's. Okay. That's fine. Oh, you know what? I'm doing that. I should just... Oh, hmm. I was gonna say maybe I should just bless. But I'm gonna put haste on. I'm not sure if I'm going to want that next turn or not. What I'm going to want to be doing. So I may not want Bless. I'll almost for sure want Haste though. So it all works out. Oh, no, he still gets a turn. Is it because I gave him Haste? No. Or the new round. Did the new round start? Oh, yeah, no. Round two begins. Oh, my Paladins didn't go either. Hmm. That's true. I wonder what caused that to happen, because my paladins and my other guys didn't go now that I think about it. Ow. Oh, that's a crappy spot. Um, well, you've got plenty of movement points. Let's get him just out of the way. We'll finish you off. You? And then I guess let's move my guys up, because these guys back in this back line clearly are not going to bother moving. Let's give a second turn to him and he can get straight into their back line this turn. Um, yeah. Fortunately, it's going to take us a moment to get there. There's nothing we can do about that. And they all start summoning. Excellent. Why don't we do a bless now? And let's use our crushing blow on... Uh, how many hit points do you have? A thousand? Oh, okay. That's, that's a lot of that's a lot of hit points. Fine, we'll wear them down. Um, what's Gizmo? Oh, Hummins, Hummins, summons a. Little guy to heal you. Um, what was? Oh, guys, there it is. I was like, what was that under? Because it did a decent amount of damage, even with my terrible intelligence. It's everybody for 460 to 880. That's not bad at all. I wonder if I should boost that. If I can boost again later, it does up to 1300. I mean, that's. That's pretty good. I guess it only hits... Well, it hits everybody. I say, it looks like it hits six targets, but that's what I've got. Pretty decent. Charge! I say, come on, we need the crit against those guys. Oh. I was gonna say, that's probably pretty good. The Paladins should do a lot of damage. They're 
biggest problem the paladins have is they're too slow, so if people come to them, even even better. Uh let's just move up right in between the ranged guys. Um Crushing blow again. Um Sure, let's hit this guy. I don't know. I'm trying to think the best best units to hit here. I'm not really sure. Like this guy. I should probably just let my paladins deal with that. And they charge forward. Yeah, it's a crit. Very good. Yeah, because look at it. My paladins can practically kill these guys. Need to make sure I plan out a resurrection for sure because the amount of damage we're taking, we're gonna need it. Taking a decent amount of losses here. Um, which means I should probably start moving you up. Oh, I gotta remember that too. I do have the ability to resurrect a second time with these guys. Oh no, that guy just committed suicide. Oof, that, ah, that's unfortunate, ouch. Oh, I'm gonna, guess I won't uh, plan out my resurrections. Glad I got a second unit that can do resurrections for to do nothing. Oh well, that's fine. A red dragon egg, I'll take that. Anything buried around here? Yeah, I was gonna say, it's probably boost my mana. Kinda need somebody to fight now. Warrior's Dwelling? Plus five attack, oh. Okay, no, it's no good, it boosts de it's good for demons, got it. Uh, let's try going in here, maybe I'll find somebody I can fight. Enemy troop. Invincible? Really? Hmm, but he's only level 45. Attack and defense and intellect aren't super high. What makes him invincible, I wonder? We're gonna hit a save. And we're going to go to uh, spells. And let's use what? Sure, let's increase our maximum rage. Rage? Did I just drop them on the ground? Wait. I think I just dropped those on the ground. Oh, like an idiot. Okay. Hold the phone, everybody. <laughs> I just did that wrong. There we go. I just, yeah, that was dumb. I dropped them on the ground. Um. Let's do that, and let's do... Hmm. Increases my intellect. Don't see why he would be invis invincible. Really? I don't know. We're just... A thick, uh, heady fragrance fills the cave. You feel slightly dizzy from it. I see no reason we're not going to charge you. It says invincible. We'll we'll see about this. We could always come back and buff more. Um, bunch of those guys. I don't know. It doesn't seem like we shouldn't be able to handle this. Okay, that's not a problem. Oh, he wasted his turn, though. I was going to de dispel it right now, but I guess not. Um. Hmm. Is our intellect's higher? We could do this, because, yeah, it does a lot more damage. Ice orb. Hmm. Let's just geyser you people here. 
Take some damage. Play them. Because we... Yeah, oh, we got a lot of... Mm hmm. Let's do that now. AOE you people to death, if we can. Oh, so we can kill you outright. Bam. And then we can't kill you outright, but we can get pretty close. Let's say if we got a crit, maybe. Uh, oh, you're too slow. Um, sure, just second wind on him, I guess. Um, I guess, yeah, just kill him. That's fine. And then you can move forward. Now on this next turn, do we want to... I could remove the debuff on him. Or... Could haste. I think I'm going to do that so I can start just charging these guys down. Cast... What did he just cast? Uh, phantoms. Oh, okay. That's, that's fine. Say, I think once my army gets on top of theirs, I should be able to kill them, regardless of the fact that the game thinks they're invincible. Ooh, I just lost 226, though. <laughs> That's the thing, we shouldn't be able to kill them. Like, maybe we have to go back and restock our army up, but... Invincible applies. It doesn't matter what you do, you won't be able to win this fight. Which I don't think that's true. Uh, just dragon dive? Sure. That'll get me some good value. Um, trying to think. Better to dogpile one unit just because they only get the one retaliation every time. Those poor inquisitors. Oh well. He's not getting to cast very many spells as a result, so I suppose we'll allow it. Um, yeah, let's just have the paladins and these guys attack the same unit. Ooh, nice mischance. Hello. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we're... We're beating him up, though, here. Um, so I'll wait and do a dragon dive again in a minute. Because I mean, the end result is if he wants to continue to waste his mana, he might as well let him. What did he just cast? Uh, I don't know what he cast. Oh, he cast phantoms again. Let's dragon dive again. Uh, yeah, I don't see any way he's going to survive this. We'll survive this, though. <clears throat> oh, he's about out of mana, too. Nice. Um, let's cast haste again, just so I can move you closer, so we can do full-on resurrections in a moment here. So one, our paladins to re do a resurrection, and our inquisitors can do a resurrection, and we can def we'll be able to afford a resurrection. <laughs> Luckily, that pygmy shouldn't affect his uh, ability to resurrect. That's just health and attack are decreased. Um, trying to think where to line everybody up now. Let's give an extra turn to... Oh, wow, look at this stack. It's like dead. <laughs> Let's move him here. There's 317 of these guys. It is a lot of them. 
Have you defend? Next turn, we're gonna do. Uh, I'm trying to think of what order to do these resurrections in because we have three available. Have him wait. This is probably the one unit I don't want to do a resurrection on just because they're so. just realized I did not hmm I should have moved them up one one space that's fine just do the resurrection there I guess let me see what Get all of them back. Let's let's wait a moment to do the resurrection with those guys. Oh, nice. Most are just trying to minimize losses at this point. Because obviously, we're going to win the fight. Um. He, oh, he doesn't have any mana left, so that's not going to be a thing anymore. Let's see, they're missing seven, they're missing 13. Um, let's do that. We're really banking on these guys getting the resurrection, hopefully. Because everybody else, we haven't lost much in the way of numbers. If it's not these guys, that'll be unfortunate, but it is what it is. Oh, this guy's going to kill himself. Ooh, we're not going to get off the other resurrection. I didn't realize that. Oh, well. Yeah, but if, like, if we get all the guardsmen back, we've lost a few horsemen and a few swordsmen. Not that bad. Uh, oh. Hmm. I always want to do the Mystic Egg. Problem is, any AoE happens and he get, it just gets destroyed, unfortunately. 75 rage though is a bit too much for us. Let's get that one. Yes, we got the guardsmen. Oh yes. Um and we so really we're missing Yeah, a few guardsmen and a few horsemen after that. Invincible battle? Nice. If we lost the guardsmen, it would have been a little worse, obviously. Memory grass. Okay, quest log updated. Find the memory grass. Bring the... On Riha Kassar, one of the genome advisors was wounded and lost his memory. Oh, that was the guy that was like, uh, it hurts. Okay, well, we got that. I guess we can take that back to him. See what he has to say about that. I love when I accidentally complete quests. Technically, we do have these buffs still if we, uh get into another fight let's see where where was that guy where wasn't it swift tribe uh, i think it was that one maybe sleeping snake temple yes here we go oh wait no Maybe I need to take to the High Priest. Oh, here we go. I have the Memory Grass. Thank you. We must wait. Either the Grass will successfully restore the Advisor Kassar, 
or it will kill him. We will seal the cave once more to prevent others from entering. Oh, all right. Indeed, it was a long wait. Finally, a young novice runs into the room and hisses something into the ear of Asur. The scales of the priest darken. Kassar has survived, and his memory has recovered. You can talk to him, human, when he comes to. It was a horrific sight that drove our advisor Kassar to lose his senses. It would seem that the mind of our great ancestor, Katoa, has turned to the thoughts of blood. Uh, what does this mean? You can rely on the temple, human. The balance must not be violated, lest the sleeping snake awaken. We must join together and stop this madman, Katoa. Okay, well, I'll talk to Kassar then, thanks. Greetings, my savior. I was told that it is you I owe thanks to for the return of my memory. Uh, okay. Now answer my questions. Yes, I will hear you. Um... Oh, here we go. Tell me of Katoa. I want to hear what you saw in the cave. After a thousand years of captivity, our father, Katoa, uh, Katoa, or Katahu, or who, know, who knows how you say it, I'll say it how I want, I guess, returned to Riha, and, our, and great was our rejoicing and celebration. It was well, I was one of the ten genome advisors at that time. All of us were strong and full of life, thanks to a magical life source hidden inside Mah... Uh, the Pella Cave. Katoa called an assembly of all the genome, and to our amazement and consternation, announced that he would no longer tolerate our existence. Uh, whoops. He vowed to kill us all that very instant and seize our offspring. Then he planned to hatch a new immortal warrior breed, with which he intended to do no less than enslave the entire world. Of course, we were not prepared to simply surrender and die, and so we accepted the challenge. A monumental battle ensued, but the stone of the gods granted Katoa wrath equal to ten of us. And as he disor as and his disordered mind and fevered senses yielded no mercy to his hapless victims, he shredded our flesh with his claws, devouring each flayed carcass as it fell. I was the sole survivor, barely alive but terribly wounded. The glutted monster fell asleep, lying snorting and snoring in a vast pool of fresh blood. I crawled away to an underground spring and let its current carry me away. More than this, I still cannot remember. I finally returned to myself only when I awakened here in the Snake Temple. Uh, how did you... How did it come about you joining the Genome Council? Did I talk to him about this? I think maybe I did. I want to fight with... Uh, I want to fight with Katoa. Can you help me? Yes, perhaps I can help. Listen now and hear my words. The wretched tribe is very weak, having chosen the path of peace and patience. Even I, its native son, could never dream of becoming a warrior. When I was young, the Genome Council was headed by the immortal lizardman, Adamus, but some of his fellow genome advisors wished him dead, and so they invented an artful plan. They took me away from my home amongst the wretched tribe, small and weak though I was, and spirited me away to the farthest reaches of the continent far away from the prying eyes of strangers. There they schooled me in my profession, master of daggers. Under the guidance of my mentors, for ten whole years I studied the art of dagger combat. Finally, at length, at long length, I was prepared to take my chance in the arena of death and, God's willing, defeat Adamus, leader of the genome. To increase my strength several fold, my mentors presented me with a special dagger. In the heat of battle, it sings a song of blood. Upon hearing its fiery tones, all reasons grow cloudy, overwhelmed by a surge of thoughtless violence. I hope you fully appreciate the value of such a weapon. First, I became champion in the arena of death, and then bested Adamus in hand-to-hand -hand combat, for which I received my place on the Genome Council. This singing dagger is kept locked away in a safe place, and is only taken out every couple of years when I fight in the arena of death. I am certain that the dagger will aid you in your battle with Katoa. The secret hiding place of my dagger is marked on this map. Locate it, but take heed. Try with all your strength not to become transfixed by its dreadful song, or your mind will be filled with such unspeakable pain. Alright, well, I'll, uh, I'll look for it then. Thanks. Hmm. Alright, uh... Let's look at this map here. Uh, okay. I think it's, it's like a little island. 
looking thing that's right in between it, it looks like. Uh, where on the map would that be? I don't know if you know where on the map that would be. That's a good question. Maybe here? Hmm. Like there's some buildings here. Some kind of like courtyard there. Uh, this is the courtyard. Yeah, I'll have to look around, I guess. Hopefully we can figure out where it is. Because I'm not positive looking at the map. <laughs> Admittedly. But we need to look around more anyways. And we will still and we will do so next time. I have stopped today's video. If you have any thoughts or comments or questions, let me know down below. And if you're enjoying the series so far, make sure you hit that sub button so you'll know when I release new ones. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.